Before you start promoting affiliate products, you want to make sure the products or niches you choose to work in are popular. You don't want to waste your time working in niches that there aren't a lot of customers. Instead, maximize your potential revenues by only working in the best niches that have scads of customers. So how do you find out which niches are popular? Like anything else these days, you simply use the internet. There are plenty of places you can go to measure the popularity of a particular niche. The first place I always recommend is Google Hot Trend, which lists the top 100 searches on Google during the previous 25 minutes. Google is the largest search engine and is used by more people than any other, so it's a reliable source to tell you what is hot at the present moment. Another site is Yahoo Buzz, which also shows the top searches put on Yahoo, which uses the Bing search engine, but Yahoo Buzz also gives a little more information than Google. Two other similar sites are Trend Hunter and Trend Watching. These are more geared toward consumer goods, such as electronics, appliances, and other hard goods, rather than digital products, which are what you'll probably be promoting. ClickBank has a lot of information about the products it offers. A similar site that also has a lot of data you can use to measure popularity is Commission Junction. With the affiliate products you promote on ClickBank and Commission Junction, you make a commission every time somebody clicks through and buys that product. But another affiliate model is called Cost Per Action. This is slightly different because you can get paid every time somebody clicks through to see a page whether they buy anything or not. Obviously, the CPA amount you're paid is usually less than that of a sales commission, but a lot of CPA click-throughs can quickly add up and make you some real money. CPA networks for you to check out include PeerFly.com, ShareAsale.com, GoOffers.net, and CPALed.com. If you have 100 or more people on your list and you're sending them a product per day or a couple of products per week that they're not interested in, pretty soon they're going to stop opening your emails and you aren't going to be making a lot of sales. That's why you only want to promote products that you are reasonably sure people are going to buy. When people get emails from you or Facebook status updates or tweets or blog recommendations that are things they actually want and can use, then they're going to be more open to future promotions from you so you can keep selling and making money. Don't assault your prospective customers with an onslaught of products that are of marginal or no interest to them because you'll lose them. Hold on to your customers by only giving them things they want, need, and can really use. The other thing to remember is that your customers are most likely people that you don't really know. If you're only promoting products to your friends and actual acquaintances, unless you're somebody like Bill Clinton or somebody else who knows millions of people, odds are your customer base isn't going to be large enough to make real money. You can expand your influence by creating new friends and relationships with people online. You can do this by giving them things for free that they can actually use, such as links to helpful sites, free giveaways, and other things that are free. It's like the old saying goes, people are only going to like you if you pay them. Pay people to like you by offering a lot of high value content for free and only occasionally asking them to buy something that you recommend that you already know they're going to want and can actually use. That means you're going to have to spend a lot of time nurturing relationships on social media or sending out emails to your ever-expanding list. But that's the nature of the internet marketing business. Like any other business owner, you have to nurture your customer base. People are only going to do business with you if they feel like they know you and have a personal relationship with you. Share details about your life and open up about your family, yourself, and other personal details. This is the type of thing people love to read about and will be more open to buying from you. When you reach out to companies offering affiliate products, you are sure to find products that are perfect for you to promote to your customers. That's because these sites have been selected to be the very best and to offer products that have a proven track record of sales. Keep a list of the companies you use and the products you promote during using a spreadsheet. This will help you guide your affiliate marketing campaign to continued success. I hope you enjoy what you learned today. Check back weekly for updated videos and lessons, or better yet, click the subscribe button below to get more of these educational videos as they come out.